Hello everybody, and today we're going to look at a quick tip for Cubase. This one will be looking at how we can delete modulation from a duplicate track. What do I mean by duplicate track? Well, I've got two tracks here with the very similar lead sounds, but each one, the modulation wheel does something slightly different. The first track, we have a normal lead sound. Modulation though, adds a bit of vibrato. Okay. The second one, um, if I put more the mod wheel forward, we get more bell and less lead. And firstly, if I keep the modulation back, we get um, more, uh, more lead and less bell. Let's see. So, easiest way to copy a track in Cubase is select the event, hold out, I think it's the option key on the Mac, and just drag down. That's it. You've copied the whole track across. But when you've copied the whole track across, you also copy all the modulation across, which is not what we need, because what we get... I get more bell, and I don't want more bell. I want sort of more lead, less bell. Further saying, more cowbell. Well, in this case, I want less bell. So all I need to do is make sure I've selected the track. Make sure you select the event that you want on here, velocity. I want to change it to modulation. And then all I simply do is click and hold and drag right to the end. So all the modulation events are actually selected. Press delete on your keyboard and by George, we've gone. So when I play now, I have more lead, less bell. And there we go. A very, very quick tip on how to delete automation from of modulation. You can do it for breath, you can do it for foot control, main volume, pan expression and sustain. You can do it for any of those, include poly pressure even if you want. You can just delete it from the track and give yourself a clean track and then you can go in and write some new automation for yourself. Um, and there we go, quick tip. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.